Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to unlock your bootloader on your HTC One M8 and also root the device. This should work for uh, any variant actually. There's a toolkit for it, so this is should be fairly easy. All you need is a computer, your HTC One M8, and your micro USB cable. So uh, what you're going to need to do first is go ahead and download uh, the toolkit, which I will link to in the description of the video. So go ahead and click on that link below and go there and download that file. The download link is going to look something like this. Just go ahead and click on where it says direct download right here. So once you do that, um, it should download a file called Windroid Universal uh, Toolkit.exe. You can just go ahead and run that toolkit now. So once you run that, it'll bring up the screen and let's go ahead and run through the prompt. So it says, thanks for choosing Windroid ATC Toolkit. A specific phone has not been chosen yet. Uh, would you like to choose one? Yes, I do want to choose my One M8. So now let's go ahead and see uh, what it says. It says, uh, choose your phone right here. So when we go to choose your phone, you'll see there's a bunch of various options here, a bunch of HTC devices. So we're gonna go ahead and select one M8, because that's what we're downloading today. I mean, uh, rooting today. So you'll see downloading recoveries. Let that download and I'll be right back. Now you're also going to need to turn developer options on your One M8. So go ahead and go into the settings application, scroll all the way down, go to about, then go ahead and go to software information, select more, and then go ahead and quickly tap build number a bunch of times, I believe it's seven. Keep tapping it until it says you are now a developer. And once that happens, you go back into your settings and there should be an option for, um, developer options which and once you back out into the settings you should see a developer options right there go ahead and select that hit ok and then go ahead and check where it says USB debugging and hit ok so allow USB debugging on your phone now go back to your computer <clears throat> alright so you'll see we are here with a bunch of options first of all we do need to unlock the bootloader then we'll need to flash a recovery and then we'll need to gain root access. So the first step is to unlock the bootloader. Now what you can do is actually grab your device and plug it into your computer. So go ahead and plug it on in. All right, so once you plug it in, it should say your device code down here. And then once that comes up, it's actually gonna pop up on your screen, allow USB debugging. Go ahead and press OK. So make sure you do that on the device and once that pops up. If for whatever reason this isn't popping up, go ahead and um, Reboot your phone, uncheck USB debugging, recheck USB debugging, and replug it in, and it should hopefully show up. If not, you can try and install HTC Sync on your computer, and that should have the drivers, and it should work just fine. Anyways, once uh, the Windroid Toolkit does recognize your device, we are ready to go. Um, if you have a Verizon M8, select this top one to unlock the bootloader. Otherwise, you need to go ahead and get your token ID first, and then you can unlock the bootloader. Uh, the token ID is from HTC themselves. All right, so I had to hit the reload button once or twice and had to, on the phone, make sure to check always allow on this computer and hit allow USB debugging. So that's just another step until it says 831C status online, and then we can get going. So I'm sorry about that. Um, it does take a little while for it to recognize, but now um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit get token ID. I do have a sprint variant in case you were wondering. So. Um, this is the first or second step in unlocking your bootloader. This will retrieve your token ID. Um, a text file is going to open with your ID and then you should have to copy it would be my guess. So what this is going to do is go ahead and automatically send every, all the info to HTC and then get an ID straight from HTC. So it's going to be uh, so much nicer. You'll see it did boot your device into the bootloader and um, looks like HTC dev says please log in which is why that's going to be an issue. Uh, all right, so uh, we do need to actually create an account on the HTC dev website. So it says, please log in. So make sure you register or log in. It did come up with this token text file. So save that for later use once that comes up. But uh, actually go to this HTC dev website and log in and create an account. So I'm going to sign in now. All right, so you'll see login success. So I am logged in now. Um, now it should work just fine. I might need to run through that process again in the HTC Toolkit. I'm going to go ahead and select Get Token ID once more, and I'm going to hit Yes. 
All right, so now that we're logged in, it's gonna take us to this unlocking bootloader instructions and also open up this token.txt. What you need to do is select all the text and copy it. So, whoops, I'm sorry about that. Don't select all the text. Um, everything right here, identifier token end and above, select that block of text. And now go back to this unlocking bootloader screen, scroll all the way down and go ahead and paste that code into my device identifier token. So paste that in there and then go ahead and hit submit. Now it's gonna go ahead and submit your token and then you will need to check your email where it's gonna have um, the further instructions to uh, complete the bootloader unlock process, So, um, which will be through this toolkit. So when we hit unlock bootloader, we're gonna need to use the file that was sent to our email. All right, so here's what the email is gonna look like. Attached is your unlock bootloader key file. Just make a note that this uh, may void your warranty, so do this at your own risk. But it should have attached a file called unlockcode.bin. Download that. So click and download that file. Um, and then once you have that file downloaded, we can actually go ahead and go back to that WinDroid toolkit. And once we're in that toolkit, we can select unlock bootloader. It's gonna unlock your bootloader completely and completely wipe your phone. Huge note, this is going to wipe your internal storage and all your data. So all your apps are gonna be gone, all your pictures are gonna be gone, your music, your videos, everything. Your text messages, all your data is gonna be wiped just like it was out of the box. So make sure you're ready for that to happen, back everything up. Um, and then we uh, also need that unlock code.bin file that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna hit yes, because we're ready to continue. Now we need to find that unlockcode.bin file. Mine went to the downloads folder, and there it is, unlockcode.bin. Double click on it, and it's loading right here, and you'll see you wanna unlock the bootloader. This is where we grab our device. You need to use the volume rockers to navigate up and down. Uh, you'll see that little blue dot goes between yes and no. Select yes to unlock it. Again, may void your warranty. It's going to erase everything. So be ready for that and press the power button to select it. So there we go. My device is now being formatted, but my bootloader is getting unlocked. So that's gonna take a bit of time to run through the process. But anyways, once this is done, that should be it. It says your bootloader has been successfully unlocked and that would be all you needed to do. So I'm gonna let this uh, run through, do its thing, and I'll be back uh, through a couple, a couple intervals and then we can continue with the rooting process. All right, so after a while my phone did boot back up, you'll see it went to the start screen, everything did get factory reset. So now what I want you to do is run through this setup. Uh, you can do what you want with the setup, but then once you have this all set up, turn USB debugging back on. So make sure you run through the setup and then turn USB debugging back on on your device. All right, so once you've turned USB debugging back on, go ahead and plug your phone on in once more. I went ahead and skipped everything. I didn't set up any accounts or anything, so, but don't worry, no more data should be wiped, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, go ahead and press reload on the toolkit just to kind of make sure that it recognizes it again. You're gonna need to go ahead and, whoops, I accidentally uh, backed out of something. I'm gonna hit reload again on my phone. It should bring up this allow USB debugging, check always allow, and hit okay and then it should go ahead and work. I'm gonna hit reload once more, and then it should actually recognize my phone. There we go. So status online, we're ready to go. So now the first step is complete. Our bootloader is unlocked. We need to go ahead and flash a recovery. Make sure you select the right one, whether you're GSM or CDMA. CDMA is Verizon and Sprint. GSM's all others, basically. So I'm Sprint, so I'm gonna select that one. And once that uh, happens, it's, should actually probably boot my, reboot my phone into the bootloader if I had to guess, and it did. And then it should go ahead and fast boot flash recovery. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take for it to do this. Uh, it says an error's occurred, a log file's been placed. It's not a good sign, but it's okay because our bootloader's unlocked, but it says twerp has flashed, so it should, it might have actually worked because I know it said uh, an error occurred before, but it didn't. So it says twerp's flashed, so let's go ahead and assume that it worked. It said twerp was flashed, um, so hopefully that worked. I'm gonna try this once more. It says it has not been recognized. So what I'm gonna do is uh, actually select up at the top, there's an option for each boot. Press the power button there. Go ahead and press volume down and press recovery and press the power button. So we'll see, um, you'll see this come up. That just means your bootloader has been unlocked. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and see if, okay, so twerp was flashed. I know it said error, but we do have this uh, recovery and super user isn't flashed, that's okay. We can actually do that manually. That's not a big deal at all. So I'm gonna walk you through the process now to do that. Just hit reboot system and it's gonna boot us. Uh, actually, we can install super SU through twerp. That's perfect. So I just walked you through it anyways. So just go to reboot system and if you wanna install super SU, you can swipe to install. So this should be just about it. It's gonna go ahead and install Super SU and then we should be fully rooted. So our bootloader is gonna be unlocked, we're gonna have a custom recovery and then we will be fully rooted on our HTC One M8 once this reboots. So I'm gonna let this boot up and I'll be back once it's done to show you guys we are now rooted. All right, and once your phone has booted back up, what I want you to do is go in the app drawer, you'll see an app called Super SU Installer. Select that and go ahead and select Twerp. So it's gonna download it and then reboot you into Twerp Recovery. Um, let's go ahead and hit continue. And then we should be ready to go. It should flash it via the recovery. Let's see if it does it automatically or if we need to find the, the zip file ourselves. All right, so it's doing it automatically. It's gonna go ahead and install that zip. And once we're done, then we will be fully rooted. All right, it automatically rebooted our HTC One. I'm gonna let it boot up and then show you guys I am now rooted. All right, so now once your phone's booted back up, go ahead and go to the app drawer and you will see Super SU right there. So double check and make sure we can actually go into the Super SU application itself. Um, you can follow him if you'd like to, and there you go. So this is a Super SU application. What I'm gonna do, I installed an app called Root Checker Basic. You can get it in the Play Store. Just to double check that you are, of course, rooted I'm going to go ahead and hit verify root and then allow it, uh, grant it super user permissions. And that's it, congratulations, this device has root access and that's it. So now our device is unlocked, has a custom recovery to flash ROMs, etc., and is fully rooted. I will also put out a video showing how to get S off for your bootloader in case you would like to do that as well. So please subscribe to me uh, to get notified for that. Um, otherwise, I'll link to it in the description of the video. But uh, as always, guys, hopefully this video helped you out. Um, please subscribe. As I said, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.